Good morning. Happy Sunday. Every day is a great day. We tell ourselves that. Living in gratitude. To be thankful for another opportunity to be here. All right. So today we're talking about prioritize your wellness. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Mika. Hey, Brittany, how y'all doing? Another tea time gathering together in community. Our topic today is prioritizing your wellness. Um, feel free to share the video. If you can only hop on for a short time, come back for the replay later. Let me, get, let me know what you guys are drinking this morning. I'll share uh, my tea with you as I always do. This is a new one for me. Um, it is Refresh from Emerge Wellness Tea Company um, out of, I think, Powder Springs here in Georgia. So let's tell you guys what's in it. Green tea, spearmint, and peppermint. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. I did add some honey. I think it said steep 90 seconds. Yes, yeah, steep 90 seconds. Good morning, T. How are you doing? And I added this Brazilian honey infused with elderberry, zinc, and echinacea. I got this from, um, where did I get it from? TJ Maxx or Marshalls because that's probably, those are the stores I mostly shop at, so. Okay. Let me know what you guys are drinking. I'm going to hop into it. Sending you good love and hugs this morning, T. I'm glad you could hop on as your schedule allows. This is my first time drinking this tea, so I'm going to take a sip and let you guys know. Oh, it's good. Very refreshing. Taste the spearmint. Taste the peppermint. Support small business. If you're a coffee drinker, consider opening your, your mind and body to tea. All right. So we're talking about prioritizing your wellness. So let's just hop in and you guys let me know what is wellness to you? Like what's your definition of wellness? And then I'll give you my definition. Man. I just thought about, we're talking about wellness and the company, the tea company is Emerge Wellness. What do you guys think wellness is? Typing it in. For me, health and wellness uh, tie to together. It's important to have both. So we'll see what you guys say. And I'm just going to hop in and keep it going with uh, my definition. Wellness is the practice of healthy habits. Hopefully on a daily basis, if not daily, multiple times throughout the week. So healthy habits, wellness, go hand in hand. What are we eating? How's your sleep? Are you moving your body? Those are the things that people think of initially. But also part of wellness and healthy habits are mental health. We talked about our mental health several weeks back, but that is a part of wellness, okay? You know, what words are you saying to yourself? What are you reading? What are you inputting into your brain as well as your body? So if we are reading um, very negative things, if we're surrounding ourselves with negative people, that doesn't improve our health. That, that's not part of practicing healthy habits. That's not wellness. So we're adding these different components to our lives to hopefully live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Oftentimes, when people think of wellness or they think of health, it's always how we look on the outside. But friends, you and I know wellness is much more than our physical being, right? Our wellness consists of how, how's our physical being, yes, but also on the inside. How's your heart? How's your sleep habits? We mentioned that before. Is your anxiety at a level of control that you can manage? Are you drinking enough water? Okay. 
just because someone is naturally quote unquote fit, whatever that means, you know, the, the marketing people, of course, the um, journals and magazines tell you what fitness is and some of the previous research regarding BMI, which is a whole nother topic. We won't go into all that too much, but they'll tell you what, what healthy is. Each person's different. Some people are naturally just muscular or very slim people, but that doesn't mean that their cholesterol numbers are good. That doesn't mean that they are not a type two diabetic, okay? It doesn't mean that they don't have hypertension, high blood pressure. That doesn't mean that they're not sleep, that they're sleeping well, okay? So how we look on the outside does not determine our overall well-being, okay? So we gotta talk about those things, prioritizing your wellness. Um, a couple days ago, I put a post up um, about mammograms and breast health, something that I'm currently dealing with, and as a part of your wellness. Maybe you're not 40 or maybe you are 40, mammograms are um, recommended at age 40 for women but if you find a lump in your breast or anywhere else in your body you should have it assessed beyond mammograms or breast health we have to focus on our well-being good morning joy is talking about prioritizing your wellness let us know what you're drinking send you a wave um prioritizing your wellness so if you are an employee, or maybe you're, you're an, an entrepreneur. If you're a parent, you have a significant other, you take care of your parents or older adults, you're very busy giving, giving, giving to other people. We talk about our to-do list, knocking them out, prioritizing our things. Where do you fall on your list of priorities? Oh, thank you, Joyce. Joyce says, good morning, great topic. Thank you. Where do you fall on your list of priorities? When you're writing out your to-do list, what are you putting on there that is for you? Not for your business, not for your job, not for your partner, not for um, your parents, your volunteer charitable organizations. What are you writing on your list for you? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Type in, what are you doing for you? Anything? Man, this tea is so refreshing. Yeah. And as you guys know, I share these teas because they're small businesses. I love loose leaf tea. I consider myself a connoisseur of tea. I don't really know if that's true or not, but hey, I like to drink loose leaf tea. And I always want to share small businesses. I've paid for these teas. These are not ads, but... If you're interested, check out the companies, see what your thoughts are. How are you prioritizing your wellness? What are you putting on your to-do list? Thinking about it. So some suggestions of things that you can put on your to-do list for you. Oh, let's see, Joyce, what are you writing? Joyce says that quiet time in the morning before everyone gets up. Oh my gosh, Joyce, you're speaking my language, sister. Yes, ma'am. Let me tell you guys, this morning, uh, my kiddo is, um, she is at my in-laws for the weekend. So I took my dog out, my husband was asleep. So I'm sitting in the den and what do I hear? Silence. I just kind of sat in stillness, not meditating, not doing anything, but just being with self and just breathing, which is a part of meditation, of course, but not a focused meditation. It was great. So Joyce, I love it. Quiet time in the morning. How does that make you feel when you are beginning your day? Does that set the groundwork for how your day is going to progress? That quiet time in the morning can make a world of difference. Um, I cannot think of the owner's name, but she owns a champagne company out of um, New York, uh, bed -Stuy. I think it's bed -Stuy Champagne. I don't wanna misquote the name of the brand. I heard about her on a podcast. 
And I'm going to just summarize what she said, but how you start your day, that quiet time in the morning, it affects the rest of the day. So if you start your day in chaos, you're probably gonna have a chaotic day. So allocating the extra time in the morning, five minutes of quiet, of breath work, hey, drink your tea before your kid gets up, makes a world of difference. Or even if, um, if you're running late all the time, you're feeling as if, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get to work on time. I'm not going to make it to my meeting on time. That overlays into the rest of your day, that feeling of always being behind, never catching up. So giving yourself the extra time in the morning, okay? What else are you doing to prioritize your wellness? How are your sleep patterns? What words are you saying to yourself? Something that my husband's been doing with my daughter, which I love, is every night, usually we'll say most nights of the week, before she goes to bed, we have a, um, a standing mirror in her room and they have an affirmation. This is him and her, this is not me. I think it's so beautiful though. He says, just for her to say to herself in the mirror, I am beautiful inside and out which is a part of her mental health. That's part of her wellness, speaking healthy things, positive things over herself. And we say those positive things every day. We start to believe those positive things, right? We do those positive wellness activities. It translates over. It continues. It manifests into being. So you decide... I'm going to start exercising. You decide. I'm going to start doing it. Maybe you haven't put any actions behind the words. But in your mind, you're saying, I'm going to start. When will you be ready to start your exercise program, which is a part of your wellness? Oftentimes, when we're moving our physical bodies, our mental health, our mindset improves as well. The endorphins get going during the process you're probably sweating and <gasps> you might can't breathe you're, that the energy is building up inside your arms are getting tight but guess what after your exercise is over don't you feel amazing don't you don't you feel wonderful all the work that you put in that 20 minute 30 minute 10 minute exercise program whatever time that you have allocated for your wellness Afterwards, you're so proud of yourself that you did it. Each day you exercise, each day you step up to yourself, step up for yourself in whatever manner for your wellness, it's going to improve in the long run. You're going to be thankful to yourself for doing the work. All right. So we talked about exercise. We talked about quiet time. How's your water consumption? I know Austin joined a few weeks ago. I think he said he drinks a gallon of water a day, which I think that's great. I'm just trying to get my eight cups in and I fall short frequently. But do I judge myself for not getting my eight glasses of water? No. I say, I did drink some water. That was good for me today. Tomorrow is another day one. Tomorrow's day one, I will drink eight, clap, eight cups of water. So we have to allow for day one. We oftentimes as people, I say we because I include myself in this. I'm steadily growing. We all are. As people, we say um, one day, we speak in the future. What about today? What time are you allocating for yourself? Speaking in the future is great, but at some point you have to decide. I have to decide. I'm ready. I'm ready to do the work. I want to live better. I want to be better for myself, number one, and for other people, for my loved ones. If you're not well, that moves into your entire family, your friendships, your relationships. It affects it all. You have to be well inside and outside, okay? Mind, body, spiritual health. Yoga means yoked 
to you to be united as one, right? It's important. Think about it. If there's a part of your life that's not in balance, it it moves over to something else. You can tell. So when you're sleeping better, when you're speaking positive words, your attitude is better, right? You're moving your body. You're feeling better. The relationships, the communication that you're having with your friends, your family, your partner, your colleagues is better. Prioritize your wellness. Put on your list of to-dos something for you every day. Every day. Something on your list. Joyce, quiet time in the morning. You deserve it every single day. Brittany, I know you're doing your exercise program. I see your posts on social media. You're prioritizing your wellness. It's important. You're putting in the work. T, you're showing up. I see you. Okay? You're moving your body on your yoga mat, your yin practice. Being in tune with self and what it is you need. Prioritize your wellness. You only get one you. I say this almost every week because I know it's true. I believe it. And people have to know. Time is finite. Time is finite. We're all going to leave this earthly place at some point or another. People don't like to talk about death, but death is inevitable. I wasn't going to go there, but the thoughts came and I'm sharing. Death is inevitable. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, right? Our heart's going to stop one day. We're going to be, if you're going to be buried, cremated, whatever your end of life wishes are, it's going to happen. So how are you going to live the days that you have fully, okay? Living fully, 100% every single day, as much as you possibly can. Prioritizing your wellness. Accidents happen. Trauma happens. I've, I've worked on trauma for years. So you, know, you don't have to be 105 or 88 to die. People are dying every day. Five-year-olds, 10-year-olds, 17, 35. We don't know when our last day is going to be. But when we do the best we can every day, that's what matters. We want to live a longer, happier, healthier life. We have to prioritize our wellness, mind, body, and spiritual health. Okay. What are you doing for yourself? How are you showing up? So this week, if you can, put something on your to-do list for you. Whatever that might be. Eight cups of water. Maybe that means getting one of those big jugs that people have and it marks off the level of water that you've consumed. If you are a smartphone person, you know, your phone can remind you. Drink a cup of water every hour until you've drank, drunk, consumed eight ounces of water eight times a day. Little things you can do. Checking in with a friend. How are things going? Letting them be your accountability partner for your wellness. Maybe getting on a walking program, okay? I have a coworker. Um, she practices a vegan lifestyle. And the reason she chose to follow a vegan lifestyle was because although she's a very small frame person, her lab values were out of whack and she was, they're very elevated. Her lab values were elevated. And she physically was fatigued and tired all the time. She said within 30 days, all of her numbers were normal and she felt better. So when you put in the work, you get the results, right? Prioritizing your wellness. The same way that you put everything else on your list of things to do. Your job, your kids, your partner, your pets your business, those charitable organizations, all of the things that are important. I hope that this week, number one, at least in the top three, something for you. And you'll feel good about it after. Your body will feel better, your mind, your spirit. You'll be like, yes, kudos to me. Give myself one of these. Pat on the back. You did it. You showed up. 
and your family and friends and coworkers will see the difference. Not just about your outward being, about your energy level, your attitude. Prioritize your wellness. It's important. I think we will uh, wrap it up here. I thank you guys for hopping on, sharing the video, the tea time. We'll be back again next Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to share with a friend. And I always post these on YouTube so you can watch later. If you guys have questions, thoughts you want to share, feel free. Send me a direct message. Comment below. Um, send me an email. Stephanie at ProfessorEbs.com. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful week. Prioritize your wellness every day this week, okay? All right. And as I always say, day one over one day. Today is day one. What are you going to do for yourself? Have a good day. See y'all soon. Bye.